Three years ago, my son went up to San Antonio for the summer to work with my father-in-law. He has his own construction company, and my son had never been away from the house like that, but he said he could hack it, and off he went. And it was right around COVID time starting, and we're there hanging out on that Friday. It's, it's the Friday before Father's Day weekend, and I'm hanging out with my best friend. It's me and my wife, him and his wife, we're playing Monopoly, and we're doing it like adults do it. Having a great time and around 10 o'clock, my phone rings and it's my son from San Antonio. And I excuse myself and I go outside and I was like, hey, babe, what's going on? He's like, hey, dad, what are you up to? I'm like, I'm here at Fern's house. We're playing Monopoly. I'm whooping on him. He's like, oh, that's good. He's like, dad, um, I wanted to ask you something. I'm like, what's up, son? He's like, um, would you be disappointed in me if I was to go back home? I was like no son i was like is everything okay what's going on no nah, dad it's just that work has slowed down and we're not really doing much but now it's fine i'll hack it i was like no nah, i'll go get you he's like no nah, it's fine it's fine i got it i got it i was like babe i'll go get you it's not a problem i was like i actually was gonna call you tomorrow because um father's day is coming up and he's like so I'm like well i've never had a father's day without you See, when I heard it in his voice, I knew that he wanted to come home, but he wanted to stay strong, so I needed to make it okay for him to fail. And I was like, please, son, can you come home for Father's Day? No, Dad, I need to work. I, I want to get my money. And I was like, I know, babe, but I've never spent a Father's Day away from you, and I would really like for you to go pick you up. I'll take you back. I don't know, Dad. I'll ask Grandpa in the morning. Okay, babe. I walk back inside and I tell my wife, I was like, hey, we need to go get him. She's like, is everything okay? I was like, I don't know, but he asked if I'd be disappointed if he was to come home. And my best friend's like, nah, we leave him there. Que se macho, leave him there. Like, nah, we need to go get him. He's like, nah, wait, that's how he's going to be tough. I was like, hey, that's my son. And if he needs me, I'm going to go get him. Stop playing right then and there. Headed home, got our stuff together, and at 1 o'clock in the morning, we start driving the five hours up to San Antonio to go get them. We get there a little early because we didn't let them know we were going up there. It was the middle of the night. And we stayed at a Bill Miller's for like an hour and a half, waiting to go pick them up at 8 o'clock. And I knock on their door at 8 o'clock. And my father-in-law and mother-in-law open the door like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm here for my son. He's like, well, he's asleep still. So I walk into his room, and he's asleep. I go up to him and I wake him up and I just, hey, hey. And he wakes up and sees me and those eyes. And he sees me and I'm like, let's go. See, um, at that moment, he needed me. And I needed to make it okay for him to fail. I needed to make it about me. I needed, to, I need you home because he needs to know in this life, me home. It's okay. It's okay to fail. You're gonna fall flat on your face a lot of times, but I'll always be there. I'll never be disappointed. You could never disappoint me, no matter what you do. I'm always gonna be proud to be your father. I'm always gonna go get you, son. Cause that's what dads do. Love you. <laughs>